So in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can add a billable expense to a customer in Zero. So let's start by entering a spend money transaction by going into the quick add menu at the top right hand corner and then clicking spend money. Now, ideally, if you're in a physical location at a store, you're swiping your card, you're paying in cash, um, you want to enter this transaction in through the mobile app. So Zero does have a mobile app and that way you're not forgetting to do this later on. So we are going to do this on the web app today, but again, you can do this on the mobile app as well. So we're going to choose the account that we're paying from. So if you're paying from a credit card account, you want to select the credit card account instead of the checking account. But for demonstration's sake, we are going to be paying for the check from the checking account today. The, this is the vendor that you're purchasing materials from. And let's say this is for job materials, quantity of one, and it's for $59.55. We'll code this to cost of goods sold. And we want to make sure to bill this back to the customer or the customer project. And so how do we do that? Swanson Security is the vendor that we're purchasing items from. Um, what we wanna do is make sure that we assign this expense to the customer or to the project. So the project, if you're utilizing projects in Zero, that means that you're also paying for the established edition of Zero. So that's the, the top edition that they have. Um, but if you just wanna do a simple invoice, um, you can assign the expense to a customer. So I'm gonna select ABC Furniture for this customer. So the next time that we invoice them, we can bill them back for this expense here. So let's select that expense, job materials, and we'll make sure to click assign so that the expense is now assigned to ABC Furniture. So let's click OK, and then we'll save this spend money transaction. So now what happens is that we've posted an entry to the general ledger. So if we head over to the checking account and then to the account transactions tab, scrolling down, I didn't change the date on this transaction just so that it would appear at the top, but here's that Swanson security transaction for $59.55. You can see that it's unreconciled. So what we'll want to do next is, is when that transaction comes through from the bank, the bank feed, we'll want to reconcile it against this transaction that we just created. So let's go to the reconcile tab on in the checking account. And if I scroll down, I'm going to find that transaction Swanston Security. So this is the bank statement line item. And then on the right hand side, you'll notice that that transaction that we just created that spend money transaction is matching against that bank statement line item. So all we need to do here is click OK. So we don't need to code manually or anything like that. So now that we have matched those two items, let's take a look at creating an invoice for ABC Furniture and that billable expense should show. So let's create a new invoice to ABC. To ABC Furniture. And you'll notice right away that, number one, if you've invoiced them before, you can also add any items from the last invoice. So I'm just gonna help you with dupl you know, duplicative efforts. And then you also have that one billable expense that can be added, right? The one that we just created. So let's click that. We'll have the option to opt out of any other expenses that we don't want to bill on this invoice. Maybe you're, invo you're invoicing them for the deposit and you're not ready to invoice for these expenses yet. So uh, in this case, that's not the case. We want to add this to that invoice. So there it is. There's that billable expense for job materials, 59.55. Um, and you can update the job, the, the description as well so that the client understands what it is that you're billing them for exactly, but maybe this is the remaining 50% um, of the project. So that is $5,000. We're gonna post that to sales. Uh, and there you have it. So that is how you add billable expenses to zero and sign them customers and what it's gonna look like when you're invoicing the customer the next time.